What is up guys? This is Vishu from Savage Camp and in this video I want to show you the difference between the yield keyword and the return keyword. So in one function we have a for loop that takes in a number we will give like 1000, 10,000 numbers and for every number it is going to create a dictionary object that will have the number as the key and the i that is the current iteration and then the name and we will generate random names and the second function is the same one but in here we are not yielding anything we are going to append it to a list and then return the list now let's do answer one or let's do yield answer is equal to get info generator and let's pass in thousand numbers and return answer is equal to get info list and we will send in thousand numbers now we have this sys module so sys module is going to give us the size of this object so sys dot get size of and then i'm going to pass in the yield answer actually let's save it so y is equal to this r is equal to the same one with return answer and let's put in the return answer so we have the size of return answer and we will print out this statement yield size is equal to y and slash n return size is equal to r so let's uh, run this it's going to take a while and you will see the yield size is 232 bytes so this is actually bytes so uh, let me put that in bytes and yeah the second one is around 8000 bytes and there's a huge difference 8856 bytes that's a huge difference between 232 and 8856 that's actually what let me open up a calculator and do 8856 divided by 232 we bring it over here and you will see 38 times the size of this and if i add in one more zero it creates 10000 items and then you will see the actual problem over here as we keep increasing the number it's going to keep increasing the size you will see our yield size is still 232 bytes and the second one now is 85,176 bytes so what is that actually so 85,000 176 divided by 232 and that's like 367 times so you can see the last time it was just 38 times and now it's 367 and what you have to understand is when you use the return variable you are going to store this in your memory so this is just sitting there while you don't use it and that's the difference between return and yield with yield you will get the values as you need it so as you keep doing next it's going to keep giving you the values and over here in return answer it is going to keep the whole list until your program ends so you're just occupying that memory unless and until you delete that object which people rarely do so that is why you should use yield when you are dealing with a large data set because it is very memory efficient and it's going to help you a lot when you deal with large data set so i think that is it for this video guys and i will see you guys in the next one